Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to episode number 21 of our Let's Play series, playing Ultimate General American Revolution, developed by the folks at Game Labs. In today's episode, we are moving east. Last episode, we completed the conquest of the major population centers in Canada and won the Battle of Quebec despite being outnumbered. In today's episode, we are counterattacking a British invasion of northern Massachusetts, with an army being led by none other than Benedict Arnold. And that's where we find ourselves as we are striking north toward Portsmouth in today's episode. This was taken from a live stream on my channel on Twitch, and if you're interested in joining those, uh, there's a link in the description where you can follow me over there. Uh, we're forming a largely new army. It's completely recruited. It's almost entirely militia. Actually, I think it is entirely militia. Uh, so it's a good-sized force, but it's not experienced. Uh, and so we're going to try and make up for what we lack in quality with numbers, but we'll see how that all plays out. It's fairly well equipped, uh, but we'll see, again, we'll see how this plays out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to the audio from the live stream, and I will catch you guys at the end. Hope you guys enjoy. Please leave your thoughts down below. And without further ado, away we go. <laughs> that, uh, the, the not a cell phone in sight meme would have been real fitting for that last battle. Oh, this is interesting. Look at all of these little hills. I have very rarely seen topography mean much, but if you can funnel them in, in through here, that would probably give you a nice little advantage, I would think. Put the guns up top this little, this rise here. Let them just come at you and batter them to death as they come up that way. That'll be an interesting... Oh, we got some boys with... Hunter rifles, too. Nice. Mm, what's better, high ground or cover? Alright, I'm gonna just meet them in the woods on the left, and I'm gonna hope they come at me up this... We'll just let our guns, we'll form basically a line of guns here, out front. And just try and bowl them down with our troops back in this way. We can't get up enough to own the edge of the wood line, so we'll just shift our troops over this way, sort of refuse our lines. They're going to come through this wood line. Oh, we're engaging on the flank. Extend our line to the right. Get these skirmishers over here on the far right. Hey boys, just a th quick idea. Let's do this. You see these columns moving at you? Can you all just shoot at it? See what happens if you hit a densely packed enemy in column? Take note, the enemy started at 120 men. Not quite as devastating as I had hoped. Oh boy, there they go. As they try and form up, just bloop. Can we fire into their flank as they advance this way? Alright, 
Alright, so we got our sharpshooters versus their sharpshooters on the right flank. Where's my general? Hey, Benedict Arnold, come up here and provide some support to your boys. Now, the real problem here is I'm probably going to get my artillery badly shot up. I guess we'll see. We'll see how effective that canister is at holding the line by itself. It does have infantry on the flank, so it's not like it's totally unsupported. Uh, they're in our guns. Alright, well, they're routing at least. Nice, they surrendered. Now they're gonna try and charge in to defend them. Left flank, they haven't even come through those woods. It's kind of weird. Are these guns firing canister? I can't... Yeah, they are. Okay. Taking some friendly... F well, I don't know if that was friendly fire or if that was just... I've been shot. Yep, the enemy is moving through this wood line. You just can't see him. I don't really understand the way that line of sight works in woods in this game. It's a little strange. Okay, my boy's on the right, not doing so hot. They, like, just disappear, and sometimes you see them, and sometimes you don't. I think the artillery did pretty damn good, though. They're breaking up this huge mass of enemy troops that came through this open area on the right flank. Or sort of center right, I guess. They did take some losses, but I don't think any of them were shattered to the point where they won't still have guns. The real problem is this left flank. I didn't get in the wood line, so the enemy's picking me off and shooting at me where some of my men aren't even shooting. But hopefully we can turn our guns back on them when they come out of that wood. So they'll have to come out of the woods here, so we'll set these guys on this flank. Move these guys over here. Move some of our rallied troops back over that way. I'm guessing the enemy's going to be somewhat tired for moving through that wood line. I don't know how to compare the, the loss rate in this particular fight to the previous battles either because... Our boys are not... We don't have any... Like our previous battles we had a cadre of regular troops that was sort of the anchor of the army. We do not have that in this fight. This is all of our troops' first battle, too. 
Raptor, thanks for the follow. Low ammo. We don't have any wagons with them here with more ammo either. Unlike our Canada campaign. All the units we can shatter, though, or capture will come in glorious, will, like, will just be absolutely invaluable. So hopefully, this is the start of a fresh campaign. Can you fire canister into their flank? Nice. And they fired it past our line, not into it. Surprisingly, these guys didn't permanently rout. Did some of my boys surrender? Oh no, those are bad guys. They're running! Can we pursue it all? Should try and go for their artillery. Most of my troops are pretty tired. I don't particularly want to pursue through woods where I can't see the enemy. Nice. Capture that unit. The militia did their jobs. Shot. Go get those guns, boys. Ready. Ready. Fire. No need to kill the prisoners in this one. surrendered over there make the the American flag makes it look like it was our boys who surrendered Ready. Ready. Howie Fuck. charging into canister too fast. There we go. Got him. Alright, I don't think that's it. So the enemy deployed 2,500 troops. They lost 1,300 killed or wounded and 250 missing. So 1,500 troops. That leaves them a little bit more than a thousand men left. They lost four of their 15 guns. Meanwhile, we lost 800 men, so almost half of what they lost out of 4,100 troops. A glorious victory that we shall hopefully take advantage of. We'll see. Maybe we can capture a couple of the beat up regiments also in the strategic map and expand upon our victory. Yeah, at least one surrendered. Oh, I don't know what are you doing? 
Oh, another one surrendered. Nice. So I think the vast majority of their army was just destroyed. Very nice. I do want to leave at least a small garrison behind to... Make sure that Boston isn't just abandoned or isn't isn't unoccupied. We should have troops in Boston, is sort of my point. I feel like we've gotten a lot more generous with the um Alright, are they gonna maybe just go into Portsmouth for a day? But I don't want to leave Boston unoccupied for a for a landing. Nice. So Portsmouth is liberated. By the way, we've got all this money. Are we building anything still on the construction map? We are. We're still building actually quite a few things here. I like to mine things because it gives you lots of stuff that you need. Provisions are probably important though. Okay. We'll do that. We won't go too, too out there. I think the key is let's leave... Let's leave these 300 men behind. As a garrison of Portsmouth. I hate to sap our strength in that way, but... Alright, Benedict Arnold. Get your boys up toward Falmouth. Retake that other city. They've only got 1,300 troops there. Oh, Benedict, what are you doing? They're gonna come to me, I'll take that. Aim true. All right, so we've got 2,400 versus their 1,300 troops. No, Morgan's boys are long dead. They got wiped out a while back. All right, so there's a fresh 900 or so militia that they have here who didn't fight in the previous battle. The other 400 troops pretty badly shot up from the previous battle. But a good chance to retake Falmouth and basically completely turn around the enemy offensive, which had been causing so much angst not much long ago. Bunch of Tories. I mean, there are 900 of them, the bastards. No mercy for the... No mercy for the Tories. Where do you think your loyalties lie, boys? Oops. Well, obviously they think they know where they lie. They're wrong. But there's always enough room on the gallows. Okay... I suppose they could be Canadians. But they should know better. Where 
Where is the enemy forming up? They're over here. Some of these units are in different deployment boxes, despite being apparently in the same deployment box. That's strange. Move the guns forward to that tree line. the boys to their flank. Move those boys to the flank. We'll keep two in reserve here behind the guns. I assume the enemy will come and meet me. My boys are somewhat fatigued. There they come. All right, flank him from two, from two flanks. Hit him on both flanks. Alright, we should do some nice damage to the uh, enemy skirmishers before, you know, hopefully make them basically combat ineffective. Artillery is going to fire into the enemy flank. Stay back a little bit. Get, we're gonna fire into the flank of these enemy as they come up. Enemy, that looks like an assault column almost. Certainly is vulnerable to uh, fire though. Canister range? It's gotta be close. Not quite, I guess. Alright, come around their flank. By God, we're flanking them. I've been shot! No shit. It's called war? Alright, Benedict, the fight's going on on that flank. Head over that way. Alright, try and stay out of the line of fire of these guns that are firing through this window. We're winning it, FOM! Be nice if they came up with names for some of these places. I will say, there maybe is a little less value in pursuing every unit to its utter destruction on the battlefield map because of the way they made the changes. They made units much more likely to surrender on the strategic map than in the past. So it does kind of mean like... You know, if they get away a little bit, that's fine. Right, go up here and hit those gunners before they fully unlimber. Oh, there's gunners over there, though. Then don't do that. Just shoot at the enemy that's coming up here.
Alright, let's swing these regiments in behind the main enemy line. Victory, they're, sur they're retreating! Now that I said there's less value in utterly routing the enemy on the map, I'm still going to try and do it. They just wanted to join their brothers in arms in POW camps. Not that I don't. I wonder what, what, what the Americans even have for POW camps, if anything. Nice. They're just running. They just all want to join. <laughs> That's silly. I appreciate that they try and liberate their boys from captivity, but it's kind of funny how they just do it so stupidly. Gotta work on that AI. <laughs> fought more battles in February than were fought in all of Europe during the 18th century? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, no, not... The 18th century? They are Frederick the Great? Um, did, weren't, didn't the British fight the Dutch a lot or in that era, or was that the 1600s? Forward! Also, the Napoleonic Wars start then. French Revolution? I don't, I don't think so. But we certainly fought a, a lot of battles. We probably, we certainly fought more battles in February. Well, maybe not certainly, but we fought probably more battles in February than were fought in the entire American Revolution, I would guess. Get them! Every last damn red coat of them! Alright, that's over. So the enemy deployed 1,313 men. They lost 624 killed and wounded, and they lost another 206 missing. So about 500 of them made it out. They lost 6 of their 8 guns. We lost 97 men. That's it. That's a mopping up operation. That's not even a battle. That's a, it wasn't. It wasn't war. It was murder. All right. So another victory Falmouth should be ours and we will have completely retaken everything we've lost on the East Coast. The question is does Benedict go further? Does he go for Fort George? I doubt I have the manpower for that. And the entire enemy formation surrenders, so they lose everything. We got 400 men coming down from Fort George to try and... What? Hold Falmouth? Are you really going to do that? You want to fight that battle? Let's see if we just win on the... Strategic map. What is this anyway? Oh, they're they're not even they're militia too. That's, it looks like we lost about a hundred in that battle. Then they retreated. Okay. What do they have up at uh, Fort George? Would it make sense for us to attack there? I imagine they've got some regulars garrisoning up there. 2,700 men. I do not have enough men to 
make that make sense. So we will garrison. Benedict Arnold gets his second experience star. Firearms. And Falmouth is ours. So, good news, boys. Do they have any more ports? Yeah, so they've got cast iron, which they took from us. Nice little port up there. And presumably they've got... I don't know if any supply comes off map. Cast iron's a port. Yeah, I guess they don't have an off map supply route. I don't know if that matters or not, but... I don't know if, like, a, the furthest... Fort on the edge or base on the edge maybe generates supply. I'm not sure. Okay. We're generating a bunch of recruits in Canada. I guess they like my bounties, huh? Head down to Albany. Actually, no. Three regions. Revolutionaries drive the Loyalists from Moores Creek Bridge, North Carolina. The victory of the North Carolina Provincial Militia Force marked the decisive turning point of the revolution in North Carolina. Plus three regions. Hey, we get a bunch more recruits. Okay. Can you... Let's move forward to February 27th. We got... Hopefully we pull those. There we go. We're slowly replacing our losses on these regular units. Ever so slowly. Um... Four hundred fifty Canadians are trying to join up up there. I mean, okay, but it seems a little silly. But who wouldn't want to join the glorious cause? All right, so thirty-three days away from Army Innovation Three. Hatfield Mining Construction's done. And mining infrastructure in Falmouth. Okay. You'd join? The butcher only butchers the British? Well, except for the big battles. And the big battles... My record's a little bit more spotty. But... We won't talk about that now. Alright, construction management. So we've retaken Falmouth. We do anything there? Uh, it does have saltpeter and logging and and wheat. I don't know what shipping infrastructure does. Like, in theory, it lets me build more ships, but I haven't really been doing that. I mean, maybe we should be. There's copper here. We should do that. Also, is there anything we can build in Leicester, Boston, or anything? Hartford could probably be built up a bit.
Loyalty is pretty good there. So we'll do a tax office. I need to figure out, we're working on a printing press. We're still 78 more days away from that in Albany. I need more construction in those towns, but I don't have more construction. Like, uh, I can't get more construction because I don't have enough manpower. So I can't, like, improve the loyalty there because I don't have enough manpower to do it. Um... Trying to accelerate loyalty. What's a blacksmith do in this game? Production points? I guess that would have been a good thing to invest in, but... Especially in Canada, getting loyalty is a probably a useful thing to invest in. Okay. Have a good one, Finish. Thanks for coming out and for the polls and all that jazz. All right, so we'll probably... Let's see here. Let's give forward a day or two more. Sea trade's gone up considerably. I don't know why. British Navy is still everywhere. Oh, it's a leap year. We got 29 days. Okay, I'm just waiting till we get Army Innovation down to 20 days and then I'll use my reputation on that. I'd like to move into Fort George. I think I'd have to rebuild my regular force, though. Stop making the Spanish and French dislike me more. Why would you do that? It'd be nice if soldiers could act as labor. Like, what are you guys doing here? Do some stuff. 500 days on the printing press in Fort Ticonderoga. Do we need to... Thank you for the gold. Do we need to... Where's the colony list? What's New York set to? Construction doctrine. So they're already working on that. Well, shucks. Got to get counterintelligence up. What does that even do? Just tell you what's where? Are we getting our loyalty back despite all the casualties? Are those casualty penalties dropping? Our boys are... We're not even really wintering anywhere. Like, some of the boys are in Ticonderoga. Some of them are in Quebec. Some of them are in Falmouth. You know, it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, Cherokee and British have a lot allied. American forces launched a surprise attack on Nassau, the capital of the British-held Bahamas. Primary goal of the raid was to secure urgently needed military supplies. Okay, so I get 100 ammo, 600 brown vests, and 16 four-pound caliber guns. Hell yeah, brothers. Give me those guns.
Why is the tax penalty so high in a fort? Does anybody even live there? Alright. I think to prepare New York for the enemy attack costs like 20 grand. So that's one thing I want to be mindful of because we should, if we can, try to keep over 20,000 in our uh, in our coffers. But yeah. I suppose when you consider the war technically lasts another eight years, it's not that ridiculous for some things to take 80 days that are going to change the overall tide and loyalty of a region. I'm going to need more officers here soon. Also, we're burning through specialists. Trying to replenish our losses over... Regular troops down in Ticonderoga. Five more days till army intelligence can be accelerated. The troops in Quebec are fully reinforced. They're all up to full strength. To that end, I guess let's reinforce the regiment at Troyes. We have so many brown buses now. Alright, are they at full strength already? They're basically just fully equipped in one day. Cool. Those bonuses are going a long way, I guess. Maybe not so much in Falmouth, but... We could move that brigade down to Boston. Probably uh, Boston's even... I don't know. It'll work its way up there. Okay, three more days till that unlocks for that... Projects. Oh, that's right. So, Quartermaster Chief's done. We need more specialists. We need more officers, but he can't do that. So, let's assign specialists here. Work on that. Our army cap is up to 43 days. Nice. Tax office in Hartford's complete. Does that increase the negativity of the people? Doesn't look like it changed. Okay. Maybe it will after a week or so. Three days from our intelligence agency. It'll increase research speed in that region. Mine and infrastructure in New Hartford is complete. So we've invested a lot in infrastructure in, in some of our towns. Which I think is probably why we're able to maintain our uh, finances at the moment. Hey, Honker. Welcome to the chat. Just waiting for... Five more days. Montgomery's fully equipped, finally, nice. Uh, the Cherokee and British have dissolved their alliance again, and our relations with the Creeks has gotten worse. Alright, let's do this. If these troops won't draw reserves from Ticonderoga, let's send them down to Montgomery. Worst case scenario, they're in better position to defend New York when the map expands. Okay. We need to increase our pay for some of these guys. To, they're going to give me... No, I don't need the copper from you. Thank you. 
Chief of Intelligence has a new project. This stuff takes a long time. Let's do the research speed one. Expand this to a schoolhouse. Give us more specialists. We're a little bit low on them. Spreading the vision. Officer Asmi Morris is ready for duty. Yay, I can raise a new regiment. Recruiting officers harnesses the power of the press. Publishing pamphlets. Okay. Good. I need more officers so I can raise more damn regiments. I've also lost a number of officers in battle. Which has... Put a damper on my ability to maintain those forces in the field. I'd like to push toward Norwich and maybe in toward the interior in Canada. Uh, let's do this. Let's take a look at what's out there. Scouting out ahead. Mr. Butcher. Do it. All right, we can now do army innovation 21 days away, but we can spend 19 reputation, of which we have more than enough, 124, so let's go ahead and spend that. Let's also spend six on the specialist recruitment to get that more quickly. When do the French arrive to save the day? I don't know, it's only March 76, so it's not quite to the point where they historically got heavily involved. Although we've certainly done... Oh, only 500 men? What are we waiting for? Uh, army innovation is done. I get some gold. Cool. So that's our last objective there. We should... Maybe do the Department of the Navy. Spend nine reputation to get it done instantly. Horse pasture let us be better with cavalry when we do get it. I think supply stretchers would actually be pretty useful. I can't make wagons yet? Alright, so we got the specialist too, so that's nice. Alright, we're going to push on Norwick with our... Uh, We'll, we'll leave 500 men in Quebec because then Norwich is going to be the front line. So I think there's less risk. I don't think the map expands further north. I don't even know where it would expand from that direction. So I think we got to push on Norwich and then Quebec will be safe because it'll be in the rear. Continental Navy, you can now develop a formidable naval Navy. Yeah, sure. Sure we can. But it does give me another headquarter to play with. We can use some of those sailors in it. Do some research. All right. Five days to get officer recruitment. And then I think once we get the officer recruitment, so I think we've researched everything we can wide. I need to get regular troops which means we need to go toward reorganization so we can get down to the Fusilier Company, I think. All right, so let's do this. We'll send the two experienced militias out. Regroup here. I want to be careful about pushing too aggressively into the interior in Canada. Just because, you know, they could certainly slap back with considerable resources. Also, did these men arrive at Montgomery yet? They did. 
Get in the uh, base there. Draw from that. Nope. I don't need that fur. These boys are moving quick through the uh, heavily forested terrain. Through the north woods in Canada. Toward Moosehead Lake. What's this? Three more days. Okay, our economy is chugging along. 30,000 gold, huh? Alright, our boys are fatigued now. They need a breather. So before we push in for that fight, we will let them rest. What's this? Okay. Let's let them get their conditioning back up. We'll wait a day or so. I'm hoping the enemy's not sending reinforcements from Halifax. We shall see. One day from the officer recruitment, and then we can raise a few more regiments. Wait, did we lose some units? Didn't we have 18 regiments before? I don't know where they would have been lost. Uh, everything looks fine. I don't see any indication of losses. Strange. My quartermaster kicks ass. He's giving me a huge bonus on regiment size. Nope, don't need wood from them. All right, are you rested up? You are, pretty much. Okay, so we completed the officer thing. So now we're going to go down the reorganization track here. We'll get Bar Baron von Steuben, more specialist and plus 5% experience, and then we can go for Fusiliers next. So still a little ways away from having that, but hopefully by the time in New York we can ra raise real units. Um... Yeah. Meanwhile, we've got 30,000 gold. Shipyard infrastructure in Falmouth is done. Construction of dock repair is done. And that's because um, Horatio is out doing stuff. Meanwhile, how are the troops doing in Montgomery? They are working on getting their reinforcements in. Okay. Good, good. Um, Fort Montgomery is working on a rum distillery. How's the... What do we have all to sell? Probably a lot of goods, right? We got over a thousand ammo. 63 furs. That's got to be worth a lot. 17,000 gold if we need it. Eight rum, which I don't know if you can like... Sometimes there's events where you can give it. So what, a thousand... And then resources. Iron's the only thing we're low on. We're still not producing enough iron. But we got a good chunk of copper, which I don't even think I'm using because I'm not building any artillery or ships. A lot of saltpeter, which can be used for ammo. 
Horses were basically where we started. That's a lot of wood. $21,000 worth. All right, everybody, we've been going for almost an hour now, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. A uh, pretty meaningful episode. We successfully retook Portsmouth, we retook Falmouth, and we have secured our position in the East. Uh, no doubt Benedict Arnold is now a national hero. I'm sure he will never turn on us in the future. Frankly, I'm actually kind of worried, not worried, I, I wonder how the game treats that, if, if it treats it at all, because uh, officers can betray you in this game. We've seen that where events trigger and an officer in command of a unit uh, switches sides. That being said, we won't find that out today, so we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.